When it comes to living a minimalist lifestyle, usually what comes to mind are the things that you no longer consume. And yes, <laughs> I do have a list of items that I don't buy or own as a minimalist. And I'll actually leave a link to that video in the description box down below. But in this video, I wanna share some of the things that I actually buy more of since becoming a minimalist. The first thing that I actually buy more of since becoming a minimalist are higher quality clothing items. I remember when I first did my huge purge on my closet, I literally donated or threw away almost everything that I owned. I had way too many t-shirts, jeans, shoes, anything you could think of. Things that I no longer wore, things that were brand new with tags still on them, things that were just worn out because I actually wore them surprisingly, but I just had way too many clothing items. So after donating all of those things, I decided to rebuild my wardrobe and I want my new wardrobe to be more capsule and simple and very direct and to the point and obviously items that I wear. And now that I'm going through and buying some of those clothing items, I really want those items to be of higher quality simply because I want them to last longer knowing that I'm going to be wearing them more often than usual. Now, the second thing that I actually buy more of or am starting to spend my money on are essential oils and carrier oils. And these are two new ones that I actually just picked up. And the reason I'm spending my money on these items is because I'm actually starting to make my own beard oil. I mentioned before in previous videos that I actually started cutting my own hair to save money and I thought, why not Why not take the extra step and make my own moisturizers and beard oils and, and things like that as well. So that is what my new adventure is. I am making my own beard oils. So these are two new ones that I actually picked up that I wanna try the scents and, and see how I like them. So the third thing that I actually spend my money on since becoming a minimalist are higher quality food items. Now, my girlfriend and I, we are very good at eating healthy and eating quality foods. We eat a lot of whole grain items and things like that but it is a work in progress for us because we want to venture into other healthier food options. And some of those options do come with a higher price tag. And we are in the process of paying off our debt and budgeting and really wanting to get out of debt as quick as possible. So we're, we're working around some of those obstacles, but we are trying new food items and purchasing higher quality food items to live a more healthier lifestyle. So the fourth thing that I actually started spending my money on are basic subscription feeds. And obviously we have Netflix and Hulu because I've mentioned before, I don't pay for cable TV, but some of the other main subscription services that I do pay for is Spotify and then Adobe Creative Cloud. Now Spotify is my go-to music app or podcasting app. Uh, I just love their interface and the way it works. I listen to a lot of podcasts at work and I have a very diverse music selection that I listen to when I'm in a gym working out or sometimes uh, my girlfriend and I will sit in the living room and drink tea or sometimes she'll drink some wine and we'll just listen to music and just vibe out with each other and have some conversations. So I have Spotify for that reason. I know you can use Apple Music or the podcasting app on iOS devices. But like I said, I just prefer Spotify. I like that interface and it, it works for me. Now the other subscription service that I have is Adobe Creative Cloud and I use that heavily. Obviously I edit my videos with Premiere. I use Photoshop for my thumbnails and things like that, but I actually self publish my poetry books and I use InDesign to do all of my layouts and things like that for my poetry books. So I definitely use Adobe heavily. I'm learning some of the other applications that they offer just to express my creative side in general. Now, before we talk about the fifth and final thing that I actually buy more of or spend my money on since becoming a minimalist, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to my channel. We talk about minimalism, obviously, but I also talk about creativity, self-expression, and I share my poetry as well. So if you enjoy any of those things, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a video. Now, the fifth and final thing that I spend my money on now really ties into the first one that I mentioned about higher quality clothing items, and that is that I actually spend my money with tailors. And I'm starting to get some of my clothing items tailored to fit my body a little bit better than they normally do off the shelf or off the rack from the store. Just because if I'm gonna spend the extra money on the item, I want the item to last, I want the item to fit me well, I wanna be comfortable and confident in that clothing item. So if it doesn't fit perfectly, I will get it tailored to fit my body how I like it to fit because I know I'm going to wear it if it fits me well. I know I'm going to wear it if I'm confident in it. It just, it all makes sense, right? So those are the five things that I buy more of or spend my money on since becoming a minimalist. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you get a thumbs up for me. Like I said, always remember, stay true to you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.